Hi guys! Today I'm gonna do a video that's a little bit different. Um, it's not something involving swatches or anything, but um, I got this in the mail. It just came today um, and I ordered it right before Christmas. Um, it just came out, I don't know, I think it was on like the 20th of December on Sephora.com. I don't think it's um, available in, not in the store that's close to me anyway. Um, and this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Uh, so yeah, this is like a brand new mask from Glam Glow and I really like their other masks that I've tried. I've had like, li like little mini samples of a bunch of them and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was really interested in this one. Um, the only thing that made me a little bit nervous was it's a peel off type of mask. So I was like, I think those type of masks can sometimes like break capillaries and stuff. Um, hopefully this one doesn't do that. It's hopefully a little bit more gentle, but... I'm just gonna see here. Um, I'll just read a little bit about it to you. So, it's an instant tightening and firming treatment. This innovative formula changes color from white to a brilliant chrome and peels off to leave skin feeling tighter and more lifted. Mega targeted ingredients work together to help skin's contours feel firmer and look more defined, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's kind of like you put it on similar to the other masks. The only thing that was kind of different huge packaging here. It's purple. I kind of like it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Was, I didn't use this. Um, I have it on my face right now. I'm going to show it to you in a sec. But um, it came with this brush, which is kind of neat. Um, and you're supposed to apply it with the brush. Now, I found when I was putting on, it wasn't completely even. So maybe... Um, maybe it goes on better with the brush. The only reason I didn't really want to use the brush the first time is I feel like brushes for products like this, I don't know, I feel like they waste some of the products and, um, some of the products, sorry. And I find that that's like, I don't know, this stuff's really expensive, so I actually didn't really want to use the brush, but maybe it would have gone on a little bit more even if I had used it. Um, there's 1.4 ounces of product in this 40 grams, so it's actually a little bit less more less product than you get in the other masks that I've seen. That most of them are 50 grams, but it comes in this really cute purple packaging. Um, I will turn the camera around and show you what it looks like on my face in a minute, but what I'm really afraid of is that um, you have to peel it off, and I'm going to do that live on camera, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna put this down for one sec just so I can, sorry, just so I can unscrew it and show you what this looks like. I still use just the handheld phone, as you can tell from my videos. So, um, yeah, so just bear with me. <laughs> um, so the color of the mask is this sort of whitish, silvery gold. Let's see, I got some on my hand anyway, so I'll just show you. And it's kind of goopy. Um, it's almost like a sticky consistency. And when you wipe it on your skin, it sort of has this gold silvery. Okay, that was a big fail. Sorry, I'll just show it to you on my face and put this back before I ruin it. Rawr. Rawr. Um, but yeah, like the consistency is kind of neat. Like it's very different um, than anything I've ever tried. It's a little bit like it's it blends on your skin well, and then it dries down and it says it starts off white and turns like silvery chrome. To me, it started off quite silvery. Like. I don't know if it's supposed to, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, the smell is amazing. It smells like sort of fruity, almost like it has a little bit of coconut in it or something. I really, really like the smell, which I was happy about because um, smells important to me. Like if it smells bad, I'm not going to like enjoy using it as much. But anyway, I just put the stuff on one of these blankets I'm crocheting because I felt like I wanted the purple color to be able to pop. And I have dark floors, so I was like, it's not going to show up as well, but... Um, all right, so maybe we'll turn things around and I'm a little scared because I don't normally show my 